Hey, welcome back to another episode from Life of Living Well. My name is Richard. Um, before I start the podcast for this week, I hope you're well and keeping yourself safe. Our first announcement is if you do like to send your questions or your query to me directly, you can send your email to hello at lifeforlivingwell.com. And if you do like to know much about what Life for Living Well do as a community, you can check us out on our website at www.lifeforlivingwell.com. Once again, you can check us out on our website at www.lifeforlivingwell.com. Once again, my name is Richard and I'm going to continue from the episode we've been looking for the last uh, three weeks which is emotional intelligence last two weeks we talked about the focus uh, we also talked about the freedom but this week i'm picking up another attribute that associated with people that demonstrate high level of emotional intelligence which is motivation um, we both know or seen or read people that have abundant of motivation that get up certain time and do certain thing we always want to do the same some people their energy let them down that they don't have enough energy to do so another thing is some people uh core need or core values that driven them was so soft like a snowflake that it wasn't strong enough to push them to do what they wanted to do many people have a bigger dream or desire of what they want to make happen certain time in their life but for some reason or the other uh, purely could be the motivation to actually do it was not there some use anger to make a change but this kind of change is a very quick change it takes you fast but it doesn't take you far and if you want something solid, persistent, consistent, and something that goes distant, you definitely need to tap into the motivation, which is a separate energy within you. How do you develop in motivation? What do you, how does motivation work in the other people's life and how we see it in our own life? And this is what the podcast is trying to tackle this way. So let's get started. Motivation. What is it? It's a word that we brush around. We can't say it, but we can notice and observe the impact of people that are abundant or are part of it. So when we have motivation in our life, we bound to do whatever we set out to do and as much what we set out to do is in line with what motivates us to do it some people creating a business having their own company or travel is the thing that that motivate them but it could also be that they are escaping for something so because they look similar but the people that motivate with have a motivation driven beyond what they're doing the way they feel about these things and the distance they go with it that make it different with somebody that actually escaping from where they are in their life at that moment so you wonder why some people appear naturally motivated and the others are not people that are inspired are also people that are in touch with their spiritual side either in the area of science sports personal and interpersonal relationships yes and they are often driven by more deeper interesting values that is not something to do that okay i want to buy a car and then when you buy a car you look you lose your motivation completely this is not what i'm talking about or like some people that they are looking for a job and they find a work and they 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 just 
you know, not looking for a job. The job is something about the job that most people change their job throughout their lifestyle because they are looking for something more meaningful than just getting salary. And getting into a hunting could just be a work. And only few people that will actually do what they really enjoy to do and make a living from it. The majority of people will do what they love to do because they might not make a living from it. Take for example the musician. We only hear the most popular, the most successful one. But there's thousands of musicians that no one heard about them. And they can play all the instruments, they can sing really well. But they didn't have that big trip that you know about them. Some of them might be working nearest to your supermarket, helping you to pack your grocery. But what I'm talking about with the symbols here is something more deeper, something more stronger. So if you have a desire to get rid of poverty, you will be, it's either you get become a get involved in a group that working towards ending poverty. If you are more motivated in helping other people, you will use your own life challenges and experiences to work on yourself and you get to the position where you wanted to help other people to minimize their suffering. If it's your call is to make sure that the planet Earth is uh, safe or the animal have a well-being, you will do the same thing that we do. And regardless how much material reward you get from it, it is relevant to you because your motivation is go beyond that. And at the end, the universe is always going to reward you based on the energy you input to it. So, they are often driven by intrinsic values, which lead to a series of actions that you say with these people. In other people, it will be the boredom that led them to be involved in activities. So, because sometimes when you say people get involved in lots of things, do one thing or the other, it might not be anything core or strong was behind it it might just be that they are trying to escape from themselves at that moment which is fine if it's helping them to cope with whatever they're going through people could be using traveling as an escape not necessarily there's a core or deeper need to do that but how do you know when somebody have motivation is the intrinsic values that are associated to whatever they were doing Family is your core values. You do everything to protect them, to provide for them, to shelter them. You will feel so unhappy every time you spend your time away from them completely on something frivolous, something that has no meaning to you. You will so feel unbalanced on it. So it could be boredom that led some people to involve in activities or escape is beyond why they are doing what they are doing. So the same thing cannot be said of a person with higher emotional intelligence. People with higher emotional intelligence seem to have healthy and productive motivation to take actions when necessary and make their plans work. Intrinsic values may, may be local or global. It depends how how tangible is your core values that motivate you to do what you wanted to do. You might want to make a change in your local community where you are right now. You might want to contribute to the way your state is governed. You may think like you have something in you and you find a platform where you to express yourself. 
you might decide that actually what you wanted to do is what you saw and you see that you can make a difference in that community or that people and you wanted to travel there and make a change from there but all this thing was was trying to tell us is that people with a high emotional intelligence that demonstrate motivation what is behind their motivation is more something to do with their intrinsic values and their intrinsic value is go beyond external things most of the time like uh, how big is my house what the, how big is my job title i want to be this the, the top dog in my organization there's nothing wrong with that is that what you want but for the people with emotional high emotional intelligence you see something more so whatever position they find themselves if they not just use it for their own selfish interest alone it's always something more bigger in terms of the benefits or be not just them alone or their family alone these are the people that because of their they are driven by their intrinsic values and these values are so strong that it's difficult for them to choose the profession or choose the action that contradicting what they actually represent. So, what they are doing could be on local or could be on, on global. But one thing that's certain that the energy to make a change will be irresistible. So finding you today to work on your motivation to make a change that necessary to create the opportunity you deserve. Okay, so let's look at the benefit of having a motivation in our own life. Perhaps you already have it, but you didn't know it's there because the environment you are. So in this case, environment could be the people you spend time with. The, the news that you watch, the, the thing that your eyes say, because our eyes are so powerful that we observe so many things and we take in and then that is our reality because it affects what we think about it. So let's quickly look at the benefit of having motivation. Number one, vision. So these people, they set very clear goals. These goals are achievable with solid plan and persistence. Their parity is highlighted in daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly targets. So this is how they measure that what they set out to do. And then they put them into different, different groups, different priority group one, group two, group three. And they don't jump to group three unless they finish group one because that is the only way they measure whether what they intended to do that way, that week or a month or year is actually achievable. Number two, they make quality decisions. So no doubt about it. These are not the people that have the sleepless nights about decisions they already made because those decisions are driven by their intrinsic values not from their selfish interest so motivated enough to make a decision with little outside influence in order to achieve their goals these are not the people that are going to people pleasing so that they can carry everybody along they know that not everybody will agree with them, not everybody will love them, but people that need to agree with them will agree with them, and they are happy with that. So they are very focused and willing to do what they set out to do. So that takes us to number three. Number three, they choose circle of friends. So these are the people that they are very good in choosing people they spend their time with. Because whether you like it or not, people you spend a lot of your time with will have an influence on you, one way or the other. 
And if you don't spend time with anybody, the communication gadget that you consume daily, the platform that you listen to daily, we also have influence on you one way or the other. Because 95% of us do not make our own ideas, but it look like we think and we reason for ourselves. But some of the ideas about politics, economy, global warming, the future is something that one one person or two person or ideas or books have, have implanted in our own minds. And it takes a lot of careful awareness, wisdom to define and query and question this and then come up with your own original idea from there. I bet this is really difficult things to do because we are bound to be influenced. So the less we expose ourselves to the people that cannot add value to our life completely, the better we will be to help more people and helping ourselves at the same time, lifting them up. So they choose circle of friends. These people are not afraid to say no to invitations that do not lead to achieving their goals. You won't see them in any activities that do not match with their core values. So the last one on my list is growth mindset. They are very open to experience. As a result, they experience far more than the average person in their lifetime. So, as a result, at the same time, they develop inherent wisdom. So, not it would be a mistake to say because they experience a lot. That's why they have wisdom. That would be misleading because there's a lot of people that experience a lot, but they mix the opportunity to use that challenges in their life as the teacher as looking to take in a different way and see what lesson that situation can taught them many people probably see themselves uh, or nothing so they didn't say the opportunity they will happen to them might be able to teach them one way or the other in order to develop wisdom is come from how what do you acquire from those challenges that you went through because you can say the same people repeating the same thing again again and again and again and again and again um, one person once told me one day that if a good guy is one left and the bad guy is in right um, and time and time she always choosing the bad one so i said why she said she doesn't know and she seemed to accept that it cannot be changed and then i didn't say anything because uh, there's something like victor frank said that you can take everything away from man but one thing you cannot take away from him is his free will so if the person is not willing to lose themselves completely, they obviously can notice the choices they're making, but they don't want to know why they're making those cho- choices. So then you can't just go and preaching and telling them what to need to do. You need to come from them. So one thing synonymous with this people of high emotional intelligence that have motivation that are driven them to do it is the grow mindset they are open to experience so because they're open to experience they took every experience in their life as a as a teacher and they use it to grow to acquire wisdom and then so when they speak they might be speaking beyond their age so, because this is nothing to do with how old you are. You could be 90 and you learn nothing about life. You, go, you have a lot of experience compared with somebody that is 20. But the experiences that you've gone through, you refuse to use it as an opportunity to grow. 
physical growth, you don't need the experience. You have no choice. Biologically, you will grow physically. So I'm talking about mentally, emotionally, and spiritual growth. It's the only through your experience that this this other state can be achieved. No other way. But the physical growth, obviously, you will evolve like a tree evolved. And this is what people see. But what define us is go beyond our physical alone so let's round it up with this question how to improve your motivation define what is important to you career or relationship with yourself and others so i'm going to leave you with that question and work on it and see that you already have the motivation if it's not active at this moment, work on activated it. Look for some, look for a place where you can find the help to work with you. And if you really want to take on anything, especially now these days, we are one of the blessed generation that there's so many different groups in our community that can help you. If you want to take on yoga, you can join yoga groups. So rather than do it by yourself alone, you could be a part of a group where you have people that actually share the same thing that you want to do. That push you to do it more often than do it by yourself. If you want to start running and you want, just want to take care of your physical side of your life and you are tired of sedative life, that you go to work, you come back home, you watch TV and nothing else. Join the running club close to you. You'll be surprised how many people doing the same thing you are doing. And in a few weeks, in a few months' time, you will see a massive difference in your own life. And one thing that is very important that I want you to know, once you can make a positive change in one area of your life, there's so much benefit of it that transcends into other parts of your life. So, I encourage you this week to ask what you want to make a change and you're lacking motivation in this area, whether in the area of finance, whether in the area of relationship, whether in the area of career change. There's so many aid groups out there that can help you. So if you cannot do it by yourself, Find someone that already doing it that can be your mentor, and they can find anyone be your mentor. Join a group, and through the group, you will be able to activate your own motivation that you have it because everybody have it. But one way or the other, for some reason, whatever you don't use, you will lose it. But you can still recreate it, reconnecting back to it, and create the life you want to have. So I'm going to leave you this week and oh, may we able to meet again next week. Um, until then, stay safe and have an amazing week. Thank you.